guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you couldn't tell already, something's a little bit different. Just like ever so slightly. Wonder what it is. I just did my hair yesterday and my amazing aunt who's a hairdresser did this for me. I will put her Instagram right over here. But yes, it's a beautiful kind of grayish, very cool tone, very slight blue color. Really, really like it. I didn't re-bleach my hair or anything. I just kind of put the color and everything over the blonde I already had. So it's not as vibrant, but I just really didn't want to bleach my hair again. I didn't want to like damage it more. But you know, I have ideas for my hair after this. Just stay tuned. We'll, we'll talk about that later. I was kind of inspired by my hair and the color to do a really nice, cool toned look today. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for. I just have a bunch of stuff in front of me and I'm actually getting ready to go out and about. So, I don't know. It's kind of like a very casual tutorial, if you want to call it that. It's kind of like a get ready with me type of store deal. So. Yeah, if you guys want to kind of see, go on this adventure with me, see what I come up with, or whatever, then keep on watching. So the very first thing I'm going to do is actually just clip my long bangs out of my face, just so it doesn't bother me. Oh, how adorable. Okay, so the first thing, the next thing I'm going to do is prime my skin. I'm just going to spray my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So for my foundation, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this is in the color Light Beige. I do have two. I have Ivory and Light Beige. In my 90s tutorial, I used the color Ivory and it was like really, really pale. So I got a little bit of a darker shade. So now I have two colors and I can always mix them together. So I'm just going to take it on my... What is this? My Morphe M439, which is like a really chunky domed like kabuki brush. It's like super chunky. So I'm just going to... <clears throat> not lose my voice right now. <clears throat> I'm just going to apply this to my face ever so nicely. <laughs> Made no sense. I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, this foundation is really good. I've been loving it. Um, I've kind of just been applying it with a beauty blender for quite a while now. But recently, it's really hard to talk and do this. Recently, I used like a brush and I really liked it because it kind of gives you... A different type of finish oh my god so yeah it gives you kind of a different finish it like just buffs into the skin and it gives you slightly more coverage but yeah it still looks amazing either way but I've been using my brush lately and I really like it so I'm just going to blend this in my skin so next up is my concealer and I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D locket concealer and this is in the color light 18 I used to use this years ago, like this was my go-to concealer, probably one of the very first concealers I ever bought back in the day, and I loved it, so I decided to buy a new one ever so recently. So I'm going to put this under my eyes, if it wants to come out, I'm going to put this under my eyes and anywhere I really have any blemishes, scarring, or issues, whatever it may be, that's what I'm using it for. This concealer, and specifically the color, is not super brightening and I did not get it to be a brightening type of concealer. I got it to be a my skin tone concealer that I can conceal and just wear everywhere on my face without it looking weird because every concealer I have is like lighter than my skin so I wanted something that would be more of a universal concealer and I love it and actually just it's perfect so I'm gonna just go in with the concealer and then we'll brighten up the skin after. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow BB Highlight. And this is in the color Extra Light 1N Neutral. And this is kind of just those little wind-up brush thingies. I'm just going to apply this anywhere that I want to kind of brighten up a little bit more. Um, this product is really nice because it's not super sheer, so it gives you like a nice coverage, but it's also not super heavy either. Come on, buddy. Come, come on. Ah. Alright, so like I was saying, it's not super sheer, but it also gives you really great color and coverage for being a BB brush on highlight pen thingy majigger. So far it's like one of those really good ones that I feel like if you buy those highlighter pens, some of them are so sheer. It's like what the heck was the point of that? Or somehow like shimmer in it or just some are like so thick and just cakey and heavy to wear. But this is perfect. I really like this one. I kind of bought it on accident, so 
It was a, it was a good it was a good accident. It was a good accident. <laughs> Next up, what I'm going to be doing is setting my entire face, and I'm going to be taking my Pixie Beauty Translucent Powder that I love and use all the time, and I'm just going to set my foundation. I've just really been liking translucent powders lately because they don't cake up your foundation and they don't change the color of it, they don't oxidize just like a foundation powder or a colored powder would. So I've literally just been really, really happy with translucent powders, and it's just so much easier too. You don't have to find a color that matches. So next up, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite bronzers at the moment, and that's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And I'm going to take it on my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush, which I have probably used the heck out of, so it's like extra fluffy. But I like that. Because it's nice for buffing, and it just gets it like perfectly diffused. Yeah. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin, kind of just add a little bit of warmth. blush I'm gonna be taking this Milani baked blush in the color luminoso I love this blush it's so freaking pretty I don't know if you can tell but it just has just a gorgeous glow to it it's a nice peachy blush so I'm going to apply this with my Medellium tools 942 brush and it's just an angled blush brush say more. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight, which I've really been obsessing over lately, and just swimming in, and I'm going to apply that to the highest points of my cheeks for my highlighter. Oh dear lord. Every time, man. It gets me every time. <laughs> Now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this Sephora Brow Pencil in Honey Blonde. Okay, so for my eyes, I know I wanted to do a cool tone look. Um, I kind of went looking in my palettes to see if I had any like cool tone palettes or anything like that. And I really kind of don't. Um, I have like some shadows in some palettes, stuff like that, but nothing specifically like stood out to me. So I kind of went digging in my ColourPop shadow stash and um, lo and behold, I found a bunch of really cool um, grayish, silvery, purple gray colors. I don't know, they just attracted me. So I was like, okay, I'll use that. So I have no idea what's going to happen, but let's go with the flow and um, hopefully it becomes decent. Yeah. Okay, so I totally thought I was filming, but I was not. What I just did was apply this nude matte shade just all over my lid from my brow bone to my lid, just as our base to begin with. The next color I'm going to take is called Girl Crush by ColourPop, and it's a really pretty kind of dirty gray color. It's a matte, and this is part of their permanent collection at the moment. So I'm just going to take it on my favorite blending brush right now, and this is the Morphe E22. It's amazing. Look at it. It's so fluffy. It's perfect. So yeah, I'm going to take this on my brush and I'm going to put this in my crease. The next color I'm taking is called Party Time and this is a matte shade but it kind of gives you the illusion of this like iridescence to it. It's really really pretty and this is going to be part of their new fall 90s throwback collection so I'm going to put this in the crease with the same brush. This shade here it's called mixed tape again part of the new fall collection and this is a pearlized finish and it's so so pretty I kind of want to put this on my lid I'm gonna use my finger for the time being and see how that goes so I'm just going to tap this on the center of my lid Ooh, 
I really like that. It kind of gives it this really wet, slick look. Mm, I like it. So the last shade from the ColourPop shadows I'm going to use is this one right here. And this is Straight Trippin'. Again, part of the new fall collection. I literally just grabbed these all at random and did not realize that they were all part of the same collection. Well, almost all. But <laughs> that was pretty funny. So I'm just going to take this on a smaller blending brush. And this is the Morphe E17 brush. It's part of the same line because they look exactly the same. But it's just smaller. See? I'm just going to take the darker color, the straight trippin', and I'm going to focus this on the outer part of the crease, just on this part right over here. I'm just going to take the bigger blending brush and I'm going to blend that out a little bit better. I'm going to go back to the color Party Time and I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This is a little bit more precise and this is the Royal & Langnickel Smudger BC 420 brush. And I'm just going to take that and put it underneath my bottom lash line. some mascara so to finish off the look for the lips I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color pure Hollywood and I feel like this color would look really good with this because I don't want to go too dark or anything too crazy since the eyes are a little bit more like sultry and dark so I'm just going to apply this to my lips and I think it will, it will work. final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial or whatever it was. But yeah, um, I really, really like how this came out. I think it looks great with my new hair. And I'll probably most likely be wearing more cool tones. Um, but yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. Um, and I kind of want to start communicating more with you guys. Um, so follow me on Twitter. You guys can tweet me and talk to me. And I will ask you guys questions. I just want to be able to reach out in another platform. So yeah, follow me on Twitter. For stuff and as usual don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys so today's video no. something a little bit different yeah. just tone This is the Gavon D. <coughs> so, so next up, next up, I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer at the moment if I can open it for full coverage. Set. So, um, next up for my blush, I'm gonna be. All right, not throwing everything across the room. Milani blush and what is this? Mm, Milani baked like, peachy. Sh shape. <sighs> this is not, it's a quarter of power. Okay, I'm seeing like lights now. <laughs>